Good morning, everybody. Good morning, Simon. Morning, mate. Good morning, Michelle. All right. Good morning, Monkey London with no sunglasses. Yes, I am not wearing my sunglasses. I can't blame Villiers for leaving them either because he doesn't work for me anymore. It's a wonderful, sunny English morning. We are in wonderful cast and performance. We've got a few little bits to be getting on with today. First things first, as you guys remember in the last video, this S14 is in for a full under seal. If we look up here, there's quite a nasty little bit of rust on the rear quarter. This is gonna be cut out today and re-welded, so we'll show you guys that. Hello, gorgeous. We've got Mr. Milo in the house wearing his very beautiful cravat. We're gonna be cracking on in about five minutes. In the meantime, I'm gonna have a quick cup of coffee and I'm gonna upload the latest video up onto Patreon for early access. I've just got a pop round to see Mr. Muzzy at Jack West Mods. I've got this rear bumper I've got to send. Muz, Muz. Hey. <laughs> We'll have a quick little gander around Muzz's. He has got a container coming in, hence it's looking a little bit empty in here. We'll have a little little look at what delights he's got. Many nice wheels in here. You got any nice wheels for my Mark II? Uh, yep. <laughs> right Stop there. it, you, man. Super advanced. Like, it's dangerous coming in here. It's like a little fucking Aladdin's cave. Advanced. Oh, man. Super advanced. What are these going for, Muzz? Um, we'll go for £999. Pounds. Just under a bag of sand. Yeah. They're nice, man. These really are the same cool, as yeah. what uh, Dylan yeah, used to have on his yeah. S15, yeah. We've also got a nice set of Vel sides here, more Vel sides there. Crans? Yeah, Crans. SSRs? SSRs, yep. Fuck me, so many good wheels. What are these little bats? Oh, these are cool, man. These are like for sort of eight. SSR meshes. Yeah, like for an 886. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, yeah. cool. Mercy's also got some pretty cool Beat Rush strut braces up here. I didn't actually realise, but Beat Rush actually make all the sort of Cusco braces you see and all the sort of different makes, they're actually all originally made by Beat Rush in yeah, Japan, which is pretty mad. We've got a shitload of lights up here as well. I'll take a guess, they're from a JZX90 Mark II? Yep, perfect. JZX100 Mark II? Yep, perfect. What's that, R32 GTST? Yep. You've also got PS13 bricks. Yeah, yeah bricks. And those as well, they're the um, projector ones. Oh. They're, they're worth a lot of money, aren't they? Yeah, yeah, they are, yeah. What are these carbon fiber bad boys here? They look pretty sick, what are they for? They're front wing extensions um, made by an, a little niche Japanese company called uh, Body Shop New Type. And they don't sell outside Japan. So we try finding all the little niche companies and bringing their products outside of Japan so people could just, you know, see them and use them yeah. and just be a bit different. Quite a cool looking bonnet stay, this man. Titanium as well, by the looks of it. What's the story behind that? It's made by an uh, elderly gentleman in Japan, just outside Tokyo. He had a little bit of issue with a tsunami. He lost his house and everything. Sure. Um, so basically our friends at Car Shop Glow got him basically um, a business just making these bonnet bars um, and he's just basically yeah he's an old gentleman about 65 years old and just sits there making these bars for everyone in Japan Perfect. so we so helped cool. him out and basically took a few and brought it over for the cool cars in the UK yeah proper nice story behind that man yeah we sell them for every single model so like like anything universal. from Civics to S15s to JZXs to GTRs well, if you guys look down there it actually says Tide of Time Pretty cool, that. Yeah, it's a really cool little piece, you know, especially if you've got a show car and you've got everything on the, you know, uh, every single part's available. You want something that no one's got. Yeah, this is the last special. sort of touch on your engine bay, basically. Yeah. Um, and something just cool and niche, you know. We just like bringing the niche over and we like sponsoring small businesses in Japan because being in Europe, you never get to see that stuff. Yeah. So when I go out in Japan, it's like, that's a shame no one's got to see it. So bring a few over, just let everyone see it and just be a bit different, you see. Yeah, that's cool, man. Instead of just buying everything from China. Loads of sexual seats up there. Yeah, late, later on in the week when Muzzy gets his container and all these new bits will come by and have a, another little gander. Loz, why are you wearing a pink Vanitaba around your face? Well, I decided to trim my beard last oh, night. Oh, <laughs> where's the, come on, show the audience, man. Let's see the beards, or well, lack of beards. Drum roll, so Whoa! Oh! Yeah! Where's Lawrence? Where's, oh, Lawrence? where's the beard, man? Where's Lawrence gone? That's a really big thing for Laws. He's had a beard for a long, long time, so to shave it off you means business. Well. What are we attempting to do here then, Sir Simon? Um, so I'm just going to clean up where we've got all this surface rust here, come clean it up to where I've got some bare metal, some nice clean metal again to weld to, and then I can kind of cut it back to there. Um, work out what kind of size plates I need and yeah, I'd be able to plate it, but we have to do all the inside first and then finish off the outside last, but in reality, this is going to be cut up to here somewhere. This is all kind of pitted, so it'll be up here somewhere by the looks of it, it'll be clean. Scouse is just using this flapping disc to take off all the, all the crap and all the old paint.
you can see where it's all pitted here so obviously this is all dead it's gonna have to come out and then you see where you got to start to get clean metal again so it has to be clean metal for you to be able to physically weld to it if you try and weld to this it literally just disintegrates and you just yeah. can't do it um, so yeah, it's a case of finding where you need to be able to cut out really so just kind of clean all the paint off first see where we're at next up Scousey has the trusty air saw <laughs> So it's all this foam stuff you have on the inside, which is like sound deadening. This is what basically absorbs the water and it just sits in there. And that's what causes it to all to rot. Like there's no coincidence that these bits are all got the foam in and it's all corroding around these areas. Yeah, that's what it is. It just kind of helps it sit there and just, like you might have had a small leak in the boot or something like that. Um, and it just causes it to sit in there and that's yeah. it. It's just constantly wet and makes it rot away. But at least with this piece out here, now it gives us better access to be able to repair all this inside panel. Get all this bit done, and then we put through the outer skin last. Easiest bit to get to. It's quite painful actually watching this, but it is for a sort of good cause. For its own much. good, yeah. yeah. So now that bit's out, I'm just gonna cut all of this section out here. Yet again, till it's all clean metal, might have to cut up a little bit higher on the inside here. But cut all that out. Um, and then yeah, can just start making templates to rebuild it all and put fresh metal back in there, get it all treated and primed up and everything. Once I'm done with it, after it's all under sealed, he's gonna get it taken to a body shop, get it all properly painted on the outside because I don't do paint work. Yeah. Um, so it just all looks fully restored again. They can do all the filler work. I'll just literally weld it and put some red oxide primer on to help protect it until it gets there. <laughs> Most of the bad crap out of there now, most of it. So now all of that's out, we've got some nice decent clean metal to be able to start cleaning up, make some templates and start repairing it and put it all back in. We look down here, this is all the crap that we've now taken out of the rear quarter. Quite a few rusty bits, very rusty. Yeah. It's seen better days, isn't it? You can kind of see where, say that was the, the actual inside of the wheel arch, like, where we just literally gone over with a wire wheel and just managed to take it back that far. Yeah. And you can see there where we've literally cut it back to clean metal again. For the template, so you're gonna try and sort of make this flat piece first, nice and easy? Yeah, it's kind of build it from the inside out, so I'll just make this bit first, then make this inner joint here. Um, this out skin last we've also got to make this little segment that goes here. Explain to the audience now what you're doing with that cereal box apart from trying to find the toy that was inside. We ever watched a programme Art Attack? Yeah. Well, this is an Art Attack. <laughs> Art Attack? Who was that guy on it? Do you remember him? Neil. Neil, Neil Buchanan. <laughs> the first piece that we're going to be replicating now is this little corner <laughs> section here. And Scout is going to use this wonderful bit of uh, cereal box to make that template. You can literally use that because that's still a good piece. Like it's still solid, but it's corroded, so yeah. get rid. But yeah. Next up, we're just going to be creating the template for this little piece just here. Let's use that. So I'm going to make it slightly oversized so it can be trimmed down. Scousey's now just grabbed this large piece of um, sheet steel. We're going to chuck the template down there and then draw a little line around it. We look 
now that gives you some sort of idea what Scousey is trying to do, just trying to get the, the shape and the curvature correct. All the pieces pretty much made, it's just kind of trimming them to fit with each other now. Yeah. So that's kind of like that little inner piece that goes in there. That's the outer piece going to go on there. You made this big piece down here, yeah? And that's that bit there. Oh, yeah. Then that can slot in there, but it's got to trim it up a bit. So it just trim this little edge off here so it sits up against there. Um, bit of a jigsaw puzzle, isn't it, really? Oh, God, yeah. Ex yeah, except you've got to make the pieces first. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> um, so, yeah, it's got to trim a little bit off this one and then they pretty much kind of go together then. Are we pretty much good to do some welding now? Yeah, we're pretty much, everything's thereabouts there. So once we start tacking bits in place, we can start, you know, grinding little bits more off to kind of make it fit perfectly. Just to try and, get it perfect, and yeah, so. you can start manipulating, start bending some of the metal just to get it all to work. It's very hard to hold everything in place and get it in. So um, yeah, just we're gonna just start welding it all. That's essentially what a tack weld is or a spot weld, so we're not doing a, a full weld. Scouse is just basically getting the plate in place. Scouse is now tacked in this little piece here and he's done this piece as well. Next up is this big fucker right here. Quick look on the inside. Sort of see what's going on. Slowly getting there. It does look a little bit messy now, but once Scouse has gone round and welded up all these little gaps and then he'll basically grind it all back down so it's nice and flush with the rest of the bodywork. Now Scouse is just going to put a few spot welds on the inside here. You should actually be able to see it through the metal here. We'll have a quick little look. Side. Nice and nice and neat. Mostly there, just have to make up this last piece now. Yeah. <clears throat> and then yeah, make that little segment down to there, which is not too difficult. Once the last few pieces are made up and tacked in, then we'll go around and seam weld, completely weld all in between the gaps, have it all done, completed, um, and then once that's done we can go back and grind the weld so all nice and flush particularly on the outside. The inside will leave the welds because it gives it some strength. The outside needs to be flush, so um, when they go to the body shop, it's all prepared for them. Once Scouse is finished making up those pieces, it's probably going to be home time, so we'll catch up with this car tomorrow morning. Anyway, hope you guys enjoyed seeing my eyes. Make sure to give the video a like, put any comments down below, I'll do my best to get back to you, and we'll see you soon. Peace. Oh.